Yo, what's up, body bags? Just wanted to make a video of a movie I watched last night called The Zodiac Killer. That's put out by AGFA and Something Weird. And I think uh, AGFA just started putting out Blu-rays. They put out effects and uh, a couple other ones. But this one I was really interested in because I have just recently seen Zodiac by David Fincher. And I gotta say, it's one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I really want to watch it again pretty soon after watching this. But... Uh, that Blu-ray came with a lot of documentaries about the Zodiac Killer, and I watched it all, and I, it's like I can't get enough of, I just love serial killer, like, films and stuff, and documentaries in general for some reason, as I think a lot of people are, but basically, this movie was created in 1971 just to catch the Zodiac Killer. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stories behind it, but the dude, uh, the director, basically made this plan to make up certain parts of the story to try to lure to hoping the zodiac killer would actually go see the movie because they had some giveaway where you fill out a card you win a motorcycle so they're trying to match handwriting from the people at the theater to the actual zodiac killer because they've screened it in san francisco in 71 which was the height of the whole zodiac killings and stuff he was still writing into the papers and all that and uh this movie i really did enjoy it it's uh not as good as zodiac obviously uh because this one has a more goofy kind of tone it's real real low budget i think this was made for thirteen thousand back in the day but it looks really grindhouse feel to it just real grainy trashy um you know blood is obviously like bright red and stuff but this uh you know, this was scanned from a or scanned in 4K scan or whatever, but it looks really bad. But I think that's because the original film elements were terrible. Because I think there was only one print ever, and I had to have been. And I think it was eight millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it doesn't sit 16 millimeter blow up. So, uh, you know, it looks. As good as this movie probably will ever get. There's still a lot of hair, a lot of grain, a lot of stuff like that. And they kept it in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, ratio, which is perfectly fine by me. I prefer it that way. Of uh, the black bars, because I wouldn't want them to stretch it out or nothing. But it had a, I had a fun time watching this. Especially seeing Zodiac and knowing all the facts about it. It's bizarre seeing certain things in this. Like, they make him like a huge pet like bunny lover so he has like 10 rats and or rabbits and stuff which was made up and they you know made up where he had this like satanic altar thing in his house and stuff and there was just weird things about it and there were certain scenes like in zodiac when he has all the black robe and stuff and he's like in the place and he's uh he goes to rob the couple they're like making out or whatever on the hill and he r runs up at the rope and ties them all up and stuff uh, that scene was really cool seeing it in this. Uh, it was looking a lot more gritty in this. But yeah, I, it, it's a real short 87 minutes long. You know, there hasn't been a lot of the AGFA releases that looked that good to me. I mean, there's one called Bat Pussy that looks pretty funny. But uh, if their quality is as good as this, you know, they use a ton of bonus features. Uh, you know, commentaries. And there's a bonus movie. I haven't watched the bonus movie, but... The fact that they even included a bonus movie that's scanned 2K from a 35 millimeter theatrical print is badass in itself. And that's another Son of Sam. You know, I heard it has nothing to do with the actual Son of Sam, but I'll check it out, you know. But, you know, they're doing a good job with this release here. You know, clear case. It looks beautiful. Love the cover. It actually has reversible cover art, which I'll show you. Uh, yeah, it's the reversible art. But basically... Uh, yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this release at all. You know, it comes with a little book or whatever, facts, interview with the director about the movie. And, uh, yeah, definitely give this release some support. You know, it's, uh, you know, not that much. It's under 20 bucks, but it's definitely worth it for just the amount of content you get. Two movies, all these features, commentaries. You know, so, and this company's non-profit and stuff, so I think every, I don't know what that means, like how they're doing that, but, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool, but, uh, anyways, guys, peace.